Hey guys, it's Wednesday, May 27th. I'm your host, Mary Kish, and this is GameSpot News. Jess McDonnell is gone. Look at me. I'm your host now. I'm just kidding, we're friends. First up, if you like freebies as much as I do, you're probably frothing at the mouth for next week. That's when PlayStation Plus members get Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes for free. Here's the lineup. PlayStation 4 owners get the amazing Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, Skulls of the Shogun, Bonafide Edition, Super Exploding Zoo, and Futuridium EP Deluxe. PlayStation 3 owners get Call of Juarez, Gunslinger, and Cloudberry Kingdom. And finally, PlayStation Vita owners get Super Exploding Zoo, which due to cross-save will work with anyone who has a PS4. All six games are free starting Tuesday, June 2nd, replacing the existing set of freebies for May. So if you haven't downloaded Hohokam yet, for the love of all that's weird, do it now. There's been more than a few game delays already this year, and that's prompting PlayStation President Andrew House to admit that the PlayStation's first party lineup is looking a little thin. Speaking today during Sony's annual Investor Day conference, PlayStation President Andrew House acknowledged that the PlayStation 4's first party lineup for this year is looking a little sparse. We are working very hard to continue very strong support from third party publishers and developers, House said. Our first party lineup is a little sparse this year, so I think this places an even greater emphasis on getting good third party support. Two high profile first party PS4 games recently delayed to 2016, including Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, and the new Ratchet and Clank. This year's remaining PS4 first party lineup includes titles like Tearaway Unfolded and God of War 3 Remastered as well as whatever super secret Sony titles that might be announced at E3 this year. I'm looking at you, Last Guardian. Now, a few skins might not be the best way to get you to pre-order a game, but what if I told you pre-ordering Batman Arkham Knight would get you the skin from Batman Beyond, debatably the best interpretation of a Batman series ever. Debatably. Spotted on the game's Steam product page is Gotham's Future Skin Pack, including a skin inspired by Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns, and more importantly, one from the animated show Batman Beyond, in which a teenage Batman in a futuristic Gotham City is guided by an elderly Bruce Wayne. It's seriously the best. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Another pre-order bonus is a DLC mission that lets you play as Harley Quinn. This bonus is available across all platforms. Batman Arkham Knight launches June 23rd, so you have until then to scrape up enough money for that sweet, sweet skin. Ooh, I can't wait to lotion up that skin and wear it to dinner. So what goes together better than macaroni and cheese, spaghetti and meatballs, or lamb and tuna fish? Well, it's probably Lego and Minecraft. It's nothing more than a rumor right now, but images for a Minecraft-inspired Lego product have appeared on Eurobricks forum. The image features the tagline, explore, discover, create, seemingly indicating that Warner Brothers and TT Games are creating an experience similar to Minecraft, which itself is heavily influenced by Lego. The image does not feature any logos hinting at what platform the game may be available in, or for any sort of release window. GameSpot has contacted Warner Brothers for a comment, and we'll let you know how they dodge that question. So, Lego makes a game inspired by Minecraft after Minecraft makes a game inspired by Lego. The circle is complete. Finally, if you purchased Ultra Street Fighter 4 on PlayStation 4 this week, you might have noticed that you regretted making that purchase. Initial reports are indicating that the game is basically interactive garbage, citing choppy menu screens, visual bugs, blurry textures, sound bugs, missing sound effects, moves not working as they should, and the most unforgivable of all fighting game offenses, input lag. Sony's Gio Corsi, the director of third-party production and developer relations, says the company is currently exploring patch options that will fix all the current issues, and hopefully add Octodad as a playable character. A girl can dream. So that's all the game news we have for you today, but be sure to check back tomorrow where we'll have more gaming news right here on GameSpot.